Our next guest is a very funny comedian whose Netflix special, Welcome to Butopia, just won a Critics' Choice Award. Please welcome Michelle Buto. I can't believe it. Do you just I keep it with it. you all the time? Oh, everywhere. I unpack the dishwasher with this. Uh, all my selfies, um, yes. I try on all my clothes with it. It makes everything fit better. Congratulations. I, that's a big deal, to, and, and it's your first award. That's a great first award. Yeah, I feel so blessed because I really never win anything. Like, even in the sixth grade, I never won the, the jar full of jelly beans that we had to guess how many jelly beans were in the jar. I, like, would never win. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> and you tied with Jerry Seinfeld. You looked very surprised. <laughs> I was, because when Homegirl was announcing us, she's like, it's a tie, that means two people win. I'm like, I know what a tie is! <laughs> and then when I heard Seinfeld won, oh my goodness, yes. When I heard Seinfeld won, I was like, oh my God, I have to hear myself lose again. And so I was very proclaimed. I was very excited. Wow, well, congratulations. It's, it's, uh, it's a great special and you deserve it. Oh, thank you. Oh, Nola wants some chicken. One second. <laughs> <laughs> I was told you and your husband went, uh, it, it, was, it was not really quite camping, was it? No, honey. Like, look, when you have a white European husband, you have to do some things, and camping is one of them. But I was like, look, can we meet in the middle? Let's go glamping. I need a toilet, I need a door. You know, I can't be outside. My whole body is just like a tempur mattress. I don't want to see what's going to get caught up in there. So, yes. We went glamping, but I'm like, how is this even fun? Yay, that's my boo. I love him so much. Love is everything, y'all. It, it really is. It sure is. It, and, and so you posted a picture of your camping outfit. That's not what people camp in normally. <laughs> no, but I had to do it for the gram, honey. And like, excuse me, Lenny Kravitz, I found out he was following me from that picture because he liked the post. Yeah, well. It's a good, he would wear that outfit, I think. <laughs> Lenny, that's something Lenny would wear and, and be able to carry that off. He that's sure would. It was so cute, though. My husband was like, that's so exciting. Lenny's following you. And then he was like, do I have to worry about Lenny sliding in your DMs? I'm like, yes, you do. I'm back with dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are your little twins doing? They started daycare, right? They did. They're so great. They started daycare, and it was so weird and wild to send them out in the world. Hi, Hazel and Otis. I love you so much. And yeah, they have a whole other life without me. They're coming back just saying words I never knew they could say. They're like, that's a horse. I said, I didn't know that. And it's just, it's really beautiful. I'm so glad everything is starting to open slowly but surely. It's yeah. necessary. Well, and especially for kids to be around other kids and learn how to socialize, I think that's super important for kids. And so they're twins, and I understand twins kind of develop their own language. Do you see them doing that? Oh, for sure. Well, my husband speaks Dutch to them because he's from Holland, and that's what Dutch people speak. Okay. And I speak English to them. Well, I'm from Jersey. It's a mix. And so twins definitely have their own language. And I see them plotting and planning because daughter is really sort of the brains and son is the muscles. And so she'll just look at him and say something like, coo, coo, coo. And then he's like, bet. And we'll scale like a shelf. And I'm like, how did you, can everybody come back down? We have good health insurance, but it's not that good. Come down. Wait, coo, coo, coo was one of the things? <laughs> yes. I think she wants to get the cuckoo clock. Wow. So you were here for the first time in January. You talked about your book. You posted something, and you wanted to tell me the story behind this. So let's look at the photo. Yes, let's look at this photo. OK, so this is Itty Bitty Baby Michelle, I think in seventh or maybe 10th grade. Who knows? I look exactly the same. God, I age so well. But the point is, <laughs> back in the day, there was no plus size clothing. clothing. So I would just end up wearing my dad's clothes for picture day. And I would always say to myself, I look like a Puerto Rican Ellen DeGeneres here for it. And I want to tell you that. Uh, well, I, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm inspired. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, Michelle, we have to take a break, uh, but we're done. We're, stay there and, and give your dog chicken in a minute. But, yo, there, there's the Critics' Choice Wait, Award. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to give her chicken with this little, uh, little deal. Yeah, all right. We'll take a break. More with Michelle after this.
All right, we're back with Michelle Buto, who, uh, in case you don't know, won a Critics' Choice Award. Um, <laughs> so you had a very unique way of promoting your book during COVID. Tell everybody what you did. You know, I really was um, bummed that there was no book signing show or tour or anything. So I tried, like, I took matters into my own hands and tried to do what I could do safely. And I went to um, bookstores and just signed copies. Um, you know, just, hey, boo, thanks for buying this. Love you so much. Yes, exactly. Did that and let people know what bookstore I went to on the gram because social media is really how we're just keeping in touch these days. And I brought the twins with me, which is just like, Girl, if you ever bring twins to a bookstore, that is just like, it really is like a version of the Hunger Games just with books. It's so crazy. You are running after them. You are putting stuff back. You are apologizing. It's bananas. <laughs> yeah, one kid, much less twins, for sure. Uh, so you're also the host of The Circle, and you took your kids to England to film it. How, how were they there? You know what? They loved England. They didn't have an accent or anything. Oh, my goodness. Lola with a toy. Thank you so much. <laughs> tell you what, traveling with twins in a pandemic, international flight, that is like every season of Naked and Afraid. I'm just learning how to run on water. Can I eat this fish? It is so crazy, but I'm so glad we got to film season two safely because, you know, all this content is just going to bring people joy, and that's what we need right now, honey. Yes. yes. Plus size realness, yes. Yes, we do. So your friend Nicole Byer was just here. She also hosts a Netflix show, and, uh, I hear the two of you get confused oh. for one another. Yeah, we're friends. We've known each other a long time through comedy, and it's so crazy that people think we're the same person. I mean, it's just going to blow people's minds when we start going out together. You know, executives have thought we're the same person. Oh, my goodness. She's, she's, a, she's a great dog. Um, hey, it's great talking to you again. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Season two of The Circle is available on Netflix.